having worked at Jeppe High School for Boys for 50 years, Martin Ledwaba is ready to step out of the gates for the last time. Ledwaba started at the school in 1971 as a lab assistant. He educated himself on science and tried to absorb as much as he could while assisting the teachers. After 1994, Ledwaba started studying towards his matric certificate. Once he passed, he went on to attain an education and science degrees. In the mid-2000s, he hung up his lab coat and became the school's caretaker. Ledwaba reflected on what kept him at the school for so many years. Ledwaba advised the current crop of pupils to prepare for the outside world. They must also flourish well. They must drink all the nice sparkling water in this building here. When they go out, they must be leaders and uh, good people of tomorrow. Because uh, the world outside is needing them. You see, they, they are needed to do a lot of things outside. So they must be well, be well equipped. Meanwhile, principal of Chippy High School for Boys, Dale Jackson, praises Ledwaba's professionalism. Constantly got a smile on his face. Nothing is too much trouble for him. He strikes me as a man very at peace with himself and in love with his job. I think that's a, a gift that many of us can aspire to. He's always the first person here in the morning and the last person to leave in the evening. And uh, I often leave here quite late at night. And whenever I leave, uh, Martin is around to lock up. Jackson says a campaign was launched in recent months for the school legend. There's been a campaign running for some time now by our social media networks, particularly driven by our old boy community, from a fundraising donation perspective to give Martin a significant financial send-off, which he certainly deserves and which has been incredibly successful. We're quite humbled by the outpouring of generosity and love from our old boys and uh, really looking forward to sending Martin off on Friday as a result of that. Ledwaba will be going to his home village in Polokwane after his last day at school. He says he'll be educating young boys in the area about farming. During my retirement, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to propagate knowledge. I'm going to spread knowledge to the other people in the farms so that they can understand what education is. For News of Africa on Channel 405, I'm Ahmed Kaji in Johannesburg.